All right, today we're doing a tier list of the Souls games and the Souls likes. I haven't played all these, but actually here, let's throw this in. Ashen, I have not played. Blasphemous, no, I'm, I know people are gonna be angry at me, but let's go Bloodborne. Do I have to say anything? I mean, true masterpiece, let's move on. Code Vein, I did play. Um, It was pretty fun. I see why people like it. it. It really exceeded my expectations a ton, to be honest, but I don't think it was even close to the best. Wow, they really like added a whole description for these. Uh, I, I feel like C is bad. I mean, yeah, okay, C is fair. Fine, we'll do C. Dark Souls 2. Uh, I can't put... Uh, all right, I'm gonna put in C, even though I love Dark Souls 2. But this description is too perfect. Not bad, but far from the best in the genre. Yeah, I mean, what else can you say? I will say, if they remastered Dark Souls 2 and kind of fixed a little bit of the movement stuff, made it a bit less clunky, maybe took out adaptability, or uh, maybe this time I'd be prepared to go into it by leveling adaptability, unlike my first playthrough, it would be a lot better. And I think everyone would be shocked at how much ass it would kick. It would it would be a contender. If they just fix some little things, but especially the movement. If they did that, that, that would be it, okay? I think Dark Souls 3 could go here. Normally, the descriptions they wrote are throwing me off because Dark Souls 3, I would put an A, but the way they, they worded this makes B sound really good because one of the best... I don't know if I could say it's one of the best examples. I mean, boss wise, yes, but I don't know about the whole game. I don't know. I'll leave this here for now and I'll move it later if I need to. Dark Souls 1. I think, I think I gotta put it here. I am not the biggest. Okay, well, how, I mean, this one, how could you even put any of the Souls games? Like try to imitate the formula? Like Demon Souls and Dark Souls are like the OGs of it, whatever. I think I would not put Dark Souls 1 over Dark Souls 3 because I like Dark Souls 3 more, but I think like objectively great ones and one of the best examples I can't, I can't not say. I, I want to put it as a true masterpiece, but I don't know. It's, I don't love it like that, but I, I can give it this because I, I respect it and I do think it's a ton of fun. Um, what is this? I don't know what this is. Demon Souls. <laughs> Try to imitate the formula. No, Demon Souls. I mean, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go here. Dark Souls 2 is better, I think. But Demon Souls is very fun. It has excellent world building. Um, I was very immersed, but it's just very short. It's not as fleshed out. The bosses aren't as good. But you know, it's the OG, so you can't really expect that much from it. But I think that's fair, right? I don't know. Fallen Order. Okay, this one's gonna be tough because I was not the biggest fan personally because half the stuff, it's like Breath of the Wild where it's all puzzles. Like if it was just straight combat the whole time and boss fights and whatever, I think Fallen Order would be like a, a B for me. But with what it is, I think it was this. But uh, I don't know though. It's Their description's throwing me off again. Not bad. Nah, I'm gonna put it here because I'm gonna say meh. I was meh on this game. Even Like objectively, I think it was like pretty good. But I think it could have been done a lot better. Um, I'm hoping the one that comes out, I think it comes out in, when is it supposed to come out? May? I'm excited for that one, but we'll see because I, I saw some leaked gameplay and it still looked kind of clunky like this one. I don't know. All we can do is hope. Hellpoint, I played this a little bit. I did not finish it. Hellpoint, uh, I mean, I feel like I have to put D. I'll put it here. I It, it really, it just felt kind of like an indie Souls game. Like, I... I, I Honestly, it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I will give it that. They, they, I think they did the formula pretty well. I should probably just, let me just take this. Let me take this off there. That's messing it up. That was messing it up. And same with this, the same with this. We're going to just say not bad because the extra explanation is really messing me up. Okay. Not bad. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I, I, put meh just for overall like the quality of the game the the movement the mechanics i do think they had some really unique and interesting elements and i do like that it was kind of alien space themed i think that could be done a lot better in the future i would love to see miyazaki do a futuristic um slash like or like a western like some some things like that which speaking of western is remna on here yeah I don't know if that's Western, but it has guns. That was what was in my head. I'm just going to do Remnant because it's I was talking about it. Remnant, I, I'm going to put B, but I think Remnant is the best and most unique. Not, not the best, sorry. The most unique Souls-like that also did it the best. Like the Souls-like that pushed boundaries and changed up things while still keeping it very fun. Like when I saw that they had guns, I was like, okay, that's stupid. Like you can't make a Souls-like with guns, but they really convinced me this game is awesome 
and the fact that the bosses changes change for the most part every playthrough is pretty crazy impressive in my opinion so yeah i think that's pretty cool also i just realized they had they didn't add elden ring on here elden ring i'd probably put true masterpiece to be fair it has flaws and it's not my favorite of the souls games but i think i would have to put it as a masterpiece but anyway hollow knight everyone loves it i feel like everyone would want me to put it in a but i'm not a huge fan of the 2d stuff i probably need to give it another shot but for right now from based on what i've played i would say here i mean honestly i'd pro i may put it here but I, I, from from what i've seen i'll put it at b I don't have a ton to say about it though. Like it, it was just a 2D game to me. It didn't seem that crazy. Um, Drift, is that say Drifter? I've never played that. Mortal Shell, a shocking surprise to me. Probably the best Souls like without directly copying the entire formula like there there are some other games i think are better souls likes but this is the closest thing to dark souls while still being somewhat unique i would put it here i would put it here i liked the weapon system i wish they had more weapons i wish i had more bosses but basically every mechanic they added was really fun and i know a lot of people say it's really slow and it's really clunky but once you kind of figure out how to play it and get used to that and realize that's like part of the game and part of the challenge then you kind of understand it and start figuring out how to play but the special attacks the way they make like the way they add difficulty for that game was really strange to me but not necessarily in a bad way but pretty good world building like i was very immersed in that world and what's it called Fallgrim or something yeah i love i love that um world i actually want to play mortal shell again but it, it, you know what was funny it was really really hard i remember thinking it was one of the hardest games the hardest souls likes when i first played it and once i got to like maybe the second half of the game i was like this is the easiest game i've ever played and i beat it four more times on new game plus after that but yeah yeah, at the beginning it was hard and I haven't played it in a while. Lords of the Fallen, I think we we gotta go meh. I think a lot of people, a lot of people really hated this one. I actually didn't hate it. I thought it was pretty fun, but yeah, of course it's, it's the clunk master. It's pretty much the pinnacle of clunk, but I liked it, but people slander God to me, man. Put some respect on his name and the new game I'm very excited for. So we'll see what they do. Hopefully they got a big boy budget and maybe uh, my roles can be more than like one frame per second. But but yeah, I mean, it, it was like a, a fun, fun game if you're if you're really wanting to play another Souls like. So yeah, sure. Neo. Let's start with Neo 1. I did not fit or I, I didn't play as much of Neo 1. I played like maybe 10 hours of this and I played probably 60, 70, 80 of 2. So Neo 1, I can't really rank. I think I give it like a B like maybe maybe here i liked remnant more than neo personally but neo 2 i think i'd put up here because actually i mean it's not better than dark souls 3 though what am i thinking uh i'll go here fine whatever i don't i don't really know but neo 2 was great it wasn't quite my style but clearly if i played like 70 hours of it i enjoyed it really my only issue with neo is that i was so far into the game and i was still getting one shot by everything and it was so annoying because i'm like okay i pumped all my all my points into health so if i'm still getting one shot by everything and i'm that far into the game I, i'm just annoyed I don't want that's not a fun way of having difficulty to me I don't I don't think getting hit once and dying should be a thing like it wasn't a fun way of adding difficulty but if you take that out I would say it's one of the best it's very 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 confusing and complicated because they add so much customization I don't like how this looks though wait did they even add all oh no it's just no Elden Ring Salt and Sanctuary did I play I don't think I played that and I did not play the Surge 1 I still okay this is still bothering me I think I want to put Neo 1 here maybe that'll make me feel better yeah that makes me feel better for whatever reason even though i like barely played neo 1 i'm sure it was good it just didn't i remember playing this and neo 2 had more mechanics that made the game feel way better and then i was like oh this game's way better so i just played this one the surge 2 was cool i feel like i'd put it here maybe maybe even meh because it didn't really feel i didn't know how popular it was i just found it one day and started playing and was like yeah this is pretty fun but it wasn't really anything that great to me it was just it's kind of like the same as code vein where i was like like surprised it was better than i expected but still not that great and i didn't finish it so i don't know how great i can really say it was what the hell is titan souls what no i haven't played that and sekiro i actually think sekiro is better than bloodborne but that's my own personal opinion but if i'm talking true masterpiece i mean i would put elden ring right here bloodborne here sekiro here but that's probably what i'd say for now i may do a different tier list instead but we'll see if i give you an outro 